Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're working on Owen's Focus. Uh, it needs a new ABS sensor. Um, the light's been on for a little while. Uh, <laughs> only a mere six months. Uh, so we're gonna fix it. Uh, it needs a new ABS sensor. Owen plugged it in and that's what the scanner said. So we're, uh, we're gonna get it done. Which one is it? Rear left. Rear left. So we'll jack it up, get the wheel off and see what's going on. I have quite happily been relegated to a uh, camera bitch today. That's only because every ABS sensor we've ever done, you've always snapped. Yep. Works for me. Plus this is like the first time I've worked on a car in about a year. Yeah, uh, because it takes me so long to record and put out videos, I don't know if we have actually spoken about that. But Owen's not a mechanic anymore. I mean, he's still a mechanic. He still knows how to work on cars. I still have all my qualifications. Still has all his qualifications. Sold all of his tools, though. Um, yeah. So when he needed to fit a new ABS sensor, he knew where to go. Uh, but, um, yeah, he's not a mechanic anymore. I don't know if we've done a video since then. But, yeah. Couldn't be bothered. Is it rusty? It's actually all right. I think this is how Tyler feels when we start doing so. The shed's still in good order though. 3D printer. Uh, this is how Tyler must feel when we work on cars. He wanted a light and he wanted the roller. Yes sir. Ugh. Got him. Come in. Right, so Jack's just gone to get me some bits over there, but I've took the wheel off, got to the back of the ABS sensor, which is like in, it's pretty hard to show with the camera, but it's just right behind there. There's the connector for it there. What do you need? Uh, a hex bit. I need a bigger tool kit, mate. That one? Do you think? Or Is it torqued? Yeah, yeah probably. Oh. I trade one ratchet trade. for camera. I think you have the better trade there. Oh, mate, it's a bit fucking tight. It'd be tighter with me under there, wouldn't it? I didn't say that. <clears> On <throat> perfect size. Good, isn't it? I think. This is where it starts rounding. Back on Tyler duties. Uh, that's smaller. <laughs> right, so. Uh, something uh, I got it out. That's all it is. I was having a bit of problem with it because the bolt was starting to round. So what I had to do was smash the socket into it to then get it out. But I've got the new one here. It's so hard to do one-handed. Just have to make sure that, that one looks exactly the same as that one, which it does from here, but you never know. And Jack currently jumping the white mini So the white mini actually runs. However, the red one doesn't. <laughs> ah. 
that's leaking out the exhaust quite bad. Right, so if anybody needs any mini parts from an R50, which also has a six-speed gearbox, and the engine, come, 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 the engine has 89,613 gentle miles. You can see that. It's a lovely car. Don't worry about the exterior, we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, Make me our first one, you want parts, grab parts. As you hear, sweet as a nut. We also have another car we're parting out. <laughs> this is nice. Don't look at him at you, straight. Nice. Uh, this one is actually a donor car. That one's all smashed up because Chelsea can't drive. Uh, and that one's not finished. And there's mine. Right, I'm going to go back to fixing this ABS sensor. Okay. Right, so I've now fitted the ABS sensor. Basically, just Pop it in, tighten the screw up, plug it back in. Simple as. Um, all I've got to do now is pop the wheel back on and torque it up. Done. Hopefully, because Jack's OBD scanner is quite an old one and that's a 14 plate car, it wasn't actually reading the code when I was plugging it in for the ABS. So, hopefully, by me just driving it, it should go off. If not, I'll have to find a way to reset it somehow. But I'm sure I'll be able to reset it. All right, so I've done the ABS, tighten the wheel up to 130 newton meters. I'm just trying to get the bonnet up. Ah, oh, this one doesn't hold. Right, it's going to be difficult. Bear with me. Right, there we go. Right, so I'm just getting the bonnet up. All because I've actually got to change my driver's side side light. I've had it in the door, I just haven't changed it. So, let me just grab it. Now, hopefully, I can get to it without taking the light out. But with the dipped beam, I had to take the light out. So, Oh, I think I can. So, all it is, is it's just that one right there. I think I can get to it by this little, like, cap that's here. So just pop that little cap off there. And hopefully, I might need to take the light out. Oh, no, I think I'm going to have to take the light out. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the light out. Right, I'm back. And I can't find any long nose pliers, so I'm going to have to improvise. One, by taking this light out, because I really can't be asked to fight with it. If I can get it out. So I have a light here. Basically, I don't know if you can see, but it is a hole it's just here. It goes to the side light, but I can't actually get in there. So Jack had the white mini running. It actually moves. So that is the one that you'll be parting out. Yeah. There we go. The pussy wagon has arrived. <laughs> I thought it was a twisty one. It's not a twisty one. It was just a pulley pulley. As you can see, that has gone because it is black. If it also had 
gone. The filament inside there would have just snapped. Or the, yeah. But as you can see, right on the top of that, you can't see through it. So I'll just grab the old one. You always double check as well when you get the old one. <laughs> but they are the right size, as you can see they both are. And they also say they're both the same numbers. So this was a Bosch one, oh no, a Lucas one, when it's put in. So I know this is exactly the same, but they say 12 volt, 5 watt, which is what it is. Now, when I bought this car, I bought it from Castle. The car's currently on finance. And they said, because, they said, oh no, that we'll buy you a new headlight because it's obviously broken. I did just drop the light somewhere down there, the old one, but don't worry about that, it'll be fine, it'll fly out or somewhere else. But this is the engine. 1.6, a TDCI, 115 brake, and it's currently doing a staggering 50.8 to the gallon, which I'm mesmerised by. Right, now I'll go and flick the ignition on, and see if the side lights are working. And, voila. Don't know if you can see, but it is just there. But both work. Look at him, he's having too much fun. So what do you do for a living? Um, make bad YouTube videos, post them irregularly, uh, and love shit boxes. So can you tell me a little bit about the car? Uh, well it's a 2006 uh, Mini uh, R51 um, and uh, it's pretty green at the minute, it's supposed to be white. Um, but it's been sitting for a while. It's nice. got no MOT, you know. So just, we're just going to sell it for parts. It's just adds for the. Uh, yeah. Just adds to the. Um, what do you call it? The shit box aesthetic. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Can we get a little drive by? Yeah, yeah. Three of Jack's wheels on it right now, and one of the other ones. Like, um, like 470 horsepower or something. Yeah, you were just uh, blipping the throttle there, weren't you? Oh, I just took my foot off the clutch. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's it's naturally aspirated. Um, it's like a 7.6 litre uh, inline four um, from the factory. Yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive to be fair. Uh, Six-speed gearbox. Um, you know, just just everything you need really. Window wipers. Um, Three different wheels. Wheels, it's quite rare, really. There you go. Uh, preview mirror. Also an S badge when it is in an S. S badge when it's not an S, no. Uh, and John Cooper Works wheels when it's not yeah. John Cooper Works. Uh, it's actually better than the John Cooper Works and the S. Uh, they're just like marketing strategies. Uh, the John Cooper Works are 210 brake from the factory. Um, I mean, compared to this, it's, you know. Also uh, it comes with a free air freshener. Free air freshener. Cotton candy, I reckon that is. Yeah. Uh, you know, little dangly microphone that when you're on the phone it just fucking does this and rattles um, it's an absolute mint car to be fair right watch these parking skills boys who remembers project midnight This car has a Project Midnight sticker as well. Got brakes as well. For the, all the OGs, a Project Midnight sticker on the back. That is. It's rarer than rocking all shit, that mate.
Even I don't have one. Even I don't have one. But right, I'm gonna start this up and see if it's still broken. It probably will be. Oh no, drop the screwdriver. Hey! Don't worry about the tire pressure light. One of the sensors is dead. But it is gone. It is fixed. As you can see there, I need fuel. But I get 58. You've been checking in it? No. Uh, the ABS light gone. Gone. That's the tire pressure light. It's always going to flash. Fucking hell. Why have you got no fuel in it? You stress my head. Well, it's still 50 mile in it, mate. Yeah, but it's on empty. No, it's not. That is not. Well, the seat, then. You've been checking. No, I've been doing tip runs. Mm, is that what they call it nowadays? I have my mum in the car. So I've done that. Jack's done that. Um, Jack's messed about for a half an hour. I've not messed about. I've been doing useful stuff. Getting that started so we can sell it. Um, or part it out if anyone needs mini parts. Genuinely, I probably won't sell it whole. Um, unless I get a really decent offer, but I doubt I will. Uh, so if anyone needs mini parts, let us know. Six B box, uh, engine's decent. Um, like I said, it's like sub 90,000. How the fuck do you hold this camera up? It's hurt my arm. You pussy. I thought you were a boxer. Um, so yeah, if anyone needs parts, let me know. The colour white is not a standard colour. So if you're thinking, oh, I need that panel. It's a custom white. The whole car is the same colour. Um, but it's custom white. But obviously, if you just need a panel, and you're going to strip it back anyway for paint, it could do. But all the panels are in relatively good nick. Bumper's a bit odd, but... Just need a good clean. Yeah, it needs a good clean. Right, I think that calls the end of the video. Go on, and do it properly. I haven't done it in a while. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. See ya.